Hello, I am Expired Alphabets, and you are watching my Let's Play of Borderlands 2. Uh, so where we are right now is we are trying to uh, get into Control Core Angel. Oh man, <laughs> the, the persistent like bullet sounds is is, is messing me up. Uh, there's that's a slab support buzzer. Don't want to shoot him down. All right, what I'm trying to take down are these auto cannons right here. And yeah, just just shooting them with acid. That should that should take them down. Nice. <laughs> what? I don't know. The brick bricks brick just shouts stuff sometimes. It seems like shoot him, got him. Saved you, death trap. All right. Uh, here's here's another one over here. Yeah, there's eleven of them that I gotta destroy. All right, bam, 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 bam. bam. Uh, yeah. So uh, last night. I finally got around to watching uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Like I, it's 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 a great movie that absolutely everyone should watch. But uh, if you don't feel like if you don't feel like watching the whole movie because because you're one of like those guys who can't handle classic movies, uh, ooh, new player skin earned. Um, you should at least watch the first like ten minutes because the first ten minutes is just one of those great great scenes where Alec Baldwin gives a speech like these guys they're all at a at a real estate sales company trying to jump over the lasers and 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 a bunch of them they're they're not selling you know and and they're they're all complaining like ah oh, you know these leads are terrible you know we can't close these so Alec Baldwin comes in and he's like, "All right, this month there's a competition. If if you get in first place, you get a car. It's like a Mercedes. It's like a Cadillac. Uh, second place, set of steak knives. Third place is you're fired. And and everyone like looks up and they're like, "What? Like you're gonna fire us if we if we if we don't do so well?" And he's like. Look, you're you're a salesman. You know, you you work here to close sales. You know, if you want to work here, close. Always, you know, it's like ABC always be closing, and and it's it's so awesome and it's so good. I can't I can't do the performance. I'm not I'm not fucking Alec Baldwin. Um. Yeah, and and everyone's like, you know, who who the hell are you to come in and and give us that shit? He's like, do you see my watch? My watch costs more than your car. That's the, who the hell I am. You know, which, which I think it's really interesting. Uh, the I read an article on Crack one time that that compares his speech to um, the speech in Fight Club, where uh, Tyler Durden's like, you're not your car. You're not your, what's in your wallet. You're not that stuff. You know, you are who you are. You know, and and comparing it to the to that Alec Baldwin speech. Um, and uh, and they're actually kind of the same speech. Like, they're both speeches are like you are what you do. You aren't like some, like no, you're not the the watch, but you are what the watch what represents, which is you know a salesman or. You know, if you're like a great father, then you know you're a great father. That's fine, but if you want to work in sales, you have to be a salesman. If you want to upset the credit industry, you have to upset the credit industry. You have to actually do things. You can't just sit around. Uh, he 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 talked about it. The guy uh, David Wong, when he wrote the article, he talked about it in the context of um, of writing, like. If you want to, if you want to be a writer, then you have to actually like write books. You can't just talk about it or want to do it. You have to actually do it. And a lot of people, I died. And a lot of a lot of people, uh, they you know they they don't do that. Like they talk about. I, like I have a lot of friends on Facebook who are like, no, I'm I'm a writer. Writing is 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 a way of life. And it's like. You're not a writer until you've published a book. You know, um, I'm 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 working on a comic with a bunch of guys, and 
and they're like, ah, we're, you know, we're comic artists. And I was like, no, man, you, you don't, you're, you're not a comic writer until you've written fucking comics. And, and, and these guys, ah, they're, they're frustrating. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it's kind of funny, um, I've been reading, uh, Ayn Rand, and, and, and she mentioned that in Atlas, in Atlas Shrugged, there's, there's a character who's like, I don't want to be, he's, he's, he's telling his wife, like, I don't want to be known for, like, uh, you know, these things that I've done, or the things that I say, or, you know, I don't want to be known for, you know, the, the way I think, I don't want to be known for this and that, and the wife is like, well, then what do you want to be known for? It's like, I want to be known for me. I want to be known for who I am inside. And it's like, the wife's like, I, I don't know what that is. I only know you by what I see of you. And, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, uh, there's a lot of people, I guess. I, I guess the moral of that is there's a lot of people who talk about, like, Oh, you can hit him right in the back where this red button is, and it's a critical. Neat. There's a lot of people who, who like, are like, no, I want to be known for my true self. It's like, your true self is what you show other people. You know? Like, like even for, for me, it's like, how many people are like, no, I'm totally a great, great at video games, and I'm super entertaining when I play them, and it's like, well, but I'm actually, like, doing Let's Plays, you know? I'm actually, like, showing people... I'm actually, like, playing video games and trying to be entertaining. Whether I succeed or not, that's... That's your call. Uh, that's, but... Like, there are lots of people who are like, oh, we're, we're totally entertaining and we're awesome to play video games with. And it's like... Well, you're only entertaining and awesome to play video games with if people like playing video games with you, <laughs> you know? So I, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm not as great of a teller of those things. So, um, <laughs> where is it? There it is. So, yeah, uh, I'm not the greatest at, at explaining that, that concept of, you know, in order to be considered someone who does something, you have to actually do things. Go ahead and read any of those things that I just listed. Um, Atlas Shrugged, or... Or Glenn Glary, Glenn Ross, or even Fight Club, or that article by David Wong. You know, if if you want to be someone who's known for doing things, you have to actually like get out and do things. You know, you have to you have to, you you have to make stuff happen. You know, any any political figure or whoever who 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 you admire for doing stuff. You know, he went out and do stuff. Like, like, think of all of your heroes, you know? Just any of them. I don't care who they are. Like, George Washington or Scrappy, Scrappy Doo. I don't... It doesn't... Like, all of those... Anyone who you consider your hero is someone who did something. You know? And so if you want to be like them, you have to do something. You can't just... Uh, oh, I don't want this. Yep. Oh, this is also a pistol? Damn it. Uh, someone needs to die somewhere. I don't see any bad guys to shoot. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, any, anyone who you admire, like, went out and did things. They, you know. And you, so, if you want to be someone worth admiring, you have to also go out and do things. Bam! Yeah! Get him! Yeah! Alright. Go ahead. 
ammo dump. There we go. I'll go ahead and reload this too. So yeah, you know, get out and do stuff. You know, you wanna, you wanna, you know, if there's like a book that you wanna read, then write the book. You know, uh, if there's a movie you wanna see, then film the movie. If there's a game that you wanna play, play, make the game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Get out and do stuff. You don't always have to do it like for other people or to impress other people. Just, you know, get out and do stuff. Did he? Oh, he's full health again. Shit. Okay, so I think I have to kill him without dying. I think that's what's up. Which is gonna be hard. Because for a while there, I had like lots of anarchy. All right, so I guess I gotta, I got, I have to pay more attention. Oh, there we go, and make sure to kill uh, anything that might like sh come up behind me. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, and try not to have this happen so much. Because the more, the more that I go down like this, the get out to the ring if I need help. God. There he goes. Hey, yeah! Like, homed in on him. Alright, where is he? Okay, oh, here's a guy. Yeah, I can- if I kill these guys enough to, like, get anarchy, then it'll be a, a lot easier. There's the homing rockets. That was actually really helpful! <laughs> so I know that you're not paying attention, so I'm just gonna let you know that this thing's coming. Alright, uh, there's a guy over there. Ah, grenade! God damn it. Yeah, the more that I can kill these guys, the more anarchy I'll get. So the more damage I'll do to this guy. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Try and, yeah, just... Just try and duck and go and duck and go. Oh shit 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 shit. Alright, take a few pot shots. Alright, there's a guy. Oh come on. Get this guy, shoot him. Get the anarchy. Oh yeah, but I was saying, uh Glengarry Glen Ross is a great movie. Uh you should you should just watch it. Uh but if you don't feel like watching all of it, uh then the first ten minutes are really good. It's like, um... Oh, what's the movie with, um... Shit. It's like, it's not Band of Brothers. It's whatever stupid World War II movie. Starts with, uh, them storming Normandy on D-Day. Shit. How do I... How, how do I forget the name of that movie? Uh, Saving Private Ryan. It's Saving Private Ryan. That movie, those first ten minutes are, are like, really good. But, uh, after that it just becomes, like, a typical sort of World War II movie. Am I just shooting Death Trap? Oh, man. Oh, you, cause you know what? There's health. Uh, there's a health station. <laughs> This guy is really having trouble. <laughs> There's a hell station down here. No. Uh, can I squeeze in here? Nope. Can I squeeze in here? Yes. Uh, not that. Down here. Yeah, there's a health station down here. So I can run down here, heal up, and then get back up to the top and keep fighting. No, I want this. Oh, wait, let me check my... Do I have the... Yeah, gun damage. Sweet. Alright. Now we gotta run back up to the top. <laughs> and then, uh, get back to fighting the Bunker 3R. Oh, no. The Bunk 3R? The Bunker. It's the Bunker. Jack has a way of naming things that is very silly. 
the way that he called like the clap trap units are like CL4 TP. It's like, you know, it's <laughs> you called it a clap trap and then you named it that. Ah, come on. Uh, up, up. Run away. Up. Oh. Don't want to get hit by that. I'm trying to get this guy. All right. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Thought I fell off for a second. What's going on? What? I don't see it. I don't see it. I want to see the gun. I want to see the gun. Show me the gun. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. It's the gun. All right. Oh, hot loader. All right. Uh, we'll watch the gun fire next time on the Expired Alphabet Show. Bye.